Hello students, myself Dr. Richa Shivasa and in this video lecture, I am going to discuss the topic integrator and differentiator. Now, first of all, what is the integrator circuit? Here, this is the integrated circuit based on operational amplifier. It consists of a resistor applied at the input and a input signal applied through this resistor and in feedback the circuit is having a capacitor instead of the resistor. As we have seen that we have a feedback resistor, but in case of integrator instead of a resistor we are having the feedback capacitor and here we take the output and the non-inverting terminal of the op amp it is at ground potential. Now to analyze the circuit how it will work as an integrator, first of all we will apply the concept of virtual ground. Why virtual ground? As uh, we can see that uh, this circuit it is having negative feedback through this capacitor. So we can apply the concept of virtual ground. Let us say this node is A and this is B. Now since B is at ground potential, so A node it will also be at ground potential. This is the concept of virtual ground. It means VA it will be 0. Now second step we will apply KCL at node A. So apply KCL at node A. Applying KCL at node A, it means let us say this is current I1 and this is current I2. So, at node A, if we apply KCL, the I1 current, it will equal to the I2 current. And in terms of V1 voltage, what is I1 current? The I1 current, it can be written as, this implies that V1 minus 0 by R it is equal to 0 minus V naught divided by Xc that is the impedance of the capacitor. Now V1 minus 0 by R it will be minus V naught and Xc is the impedance of capacitor it will be given by 1 upon Sc. So V1 by R it will be minus V naught SC or we can write this as V naught is equal to minus V1 by SCR. So, this is the expression of V naught in terms of V1. This analysis it was in S domain. So, here we can see the output voltage it will be minus V1 divided by SCR. This analysis it, it is in S domain and the same analysis can be done in time domain also. So, we will see the analysis in time domain also and uh, that can be seen that uh, VO voltage or output voltage it will be the integration of the input voltage. Now, in time domain also First step we will see the concept of a virtual ground. If this node is A and this is node B, since node B is at ground, so by the concept of virtual ground, node B it will be, this is at ground, so node A it will be at ground potential, that is VA it will be 0. Now, if we apply KCL at this node A, then current will be I1 and this will be I2. So, I1 node A, we will apply KCL. So, I1 it will be equal to I2. I1 is given by V1 by R and I2 it will be minus C B V naught 
by dt. So, this can be written as minus C dv naught is equal to V1 by R into dt and if we integrate both the sides it will be V naught it will be V1 minus 1 by R C integration of V1 dt. It means that here we can see that output it is the integration of the input signal V1 that we have applied at the input of this operational amplifier. So, the final expression it can be seen that output voltage it will be the integration of the input voltage with some factor of a minus 1 by Rc. Now, since we have applied the input at the inverting terminal that is why we are getting the output here we are having this negative sign means the output will be phase shifted with respect to input. Now, let us take an example if we apply let us say V 1 is a square wave. If V 1 is a square wave then what will be the output of this square wave at the output of this integrator what output we will get. Let us say we have a square wave means this is the square wave that is being applied at the input of the integrator. Now, what output we will get this is V 1. So, what will be the output in this case? From the expression if we see if we will integrate this constant part of the square wave we will get the integration as t. It means the waveform that will vary with time with the negative sign means the waveform which will increase with time, but in negative direction. It means if we want to draw the output waveform, it will be this is the time axis and uh, this is let us say the integrated waveform. The waveform it will increase with time, but in negative direction it will go like this. It means here for constant we get uh, the function with means the time varying function with respect to time and it is 180 degree phase shifted with respect to the input because we are having this negative sign also. So, if we give a square wave at the input of uh, this uh, integrator we will get the triangular waveform. Now, next circuit it is the differentiator circuit here we can see the differentiator circuit with uh, op amp in this circuit what is the difference between the previous integrator and this circuit? The integrator it was having a resistor at the input, but differentiator it is having capacitor at the input and the resistor at the feedback side. And the feedback is from output to the inverting terminal. So, it is a negative feedback. So, to analyze this circuit what is the first step? The first step we apply the concept of virtual ground. So, if this is node A and this is node B, since the node B is at ground potential, so node A it will also be at ground potential. It means V A it will be 0 by the concept of virtual ground. Now, to analyze the circuit second step is we will apply KCL at node A, apply KCL at node A and while doing the analysis we are performing first the S domain analysis and then the time domain. So, for S domain apply KCL it means V 1 minus 0 by 
x c it will be 0 minus v naught by the resistor r and v 1 x c impedance of capacitor it will be 1 upon s c it will be equal to minus v naught by r. This implies that v naught it will be v 1 into minus s c r or v naught it will be minus s c r into v 1. So, this is the expression for differentiator in S domain. Now, the same circuit it can be analyzed in time domain also. We will see that how it will be analyzed. Again for time domain analysis, time domain in time domain also first of all apply the concept of virtual ground. This is node A, this is node B, then V A it will be at 0. The second apply KCL at this node A that is this I 1 current it will be equal to I 2 current. So, I 1 it will be equal to I 2. I 1 is given by it will be C D V 1 by D T and I 2 it will be minus V naught by R. So, V naught it will be minus R C D V 1 by D T. It means output voltage it will be the differentiation of the input voltage. Whatever input we have applied we will get the differentiated waveform. It means let us say we have applied over here a triangular waveform then for triangular waveform the output will be the square wave. It will be just the reverse of the integrator. So, in this way we can use integrator and differentiator in different application where we want to generate one waveform and convert it into another form means square can be converted into triangular and triangular waveform can be converted into square waveform. So, in this video lecture we have discussed the application of operational amplifier as integrator and differentiator and how one waveform it can be converted into the another form. Thank you.